touched upon um, victim mentality. Mm. And the opposite side of the spectrum to that is imposter syndrome. Mm. Uh, both of these things are quite rampant at work. We, we see it all the time. So with imposter syndrome, people are like, it's, it's the opposite of why me, right? So it's like, why am I being given all of these opportunities? I'm not really deserving mm. and so on. So what are your thoughts on how people deal with this? Well, if I can get a little philosophical here yes, for a please. second. The Bhagavad Gita starts off with the premise that we're not our physical bodies. We're the consciousness within the body, that there's two different energies uh, well, there's multifarious energies, but there are two main energies that Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita where he says there are the gross material energies, the subtle material energies, and then he says there's a categorically different energy altogether, which is consciousness, final frontier. And it's consciousness that's illuminating the body, that's animating the body, and so forth. Consciousness has free will, just the body is dead matter. So why do I say that? Interestingly, the idea of being an imposter comes up with the sense of identification with my material identity, which is here to be gone tomorrow. That's classic wisdom literature from any tradition that we're just passing through. And if I'm driving a car, like a Toyota, and I say, I am the Toyota, or if the car gets hit, someone who's driving the Toyota says, you hit me, there's a sense of identification. And so taking that meaning of imposter, that I'm sort of an imposter when I, I present myself, well, who are you? I'm such and such, I'm a person from Czechoslovakia or from mm -hmm. California and so forth. And it's like, uh, actually, how old are you? So I'm you know, 67, no you're not, you're actually the consciousness within the body. So that's the imposter syndrome uh, from a philosophical point. Mm -hmm. And how, how does that tie to the answer that the premise is that when I misidentify myself with something that I'm not, then there's always going to be anxiety. There's a sense that anxiety arises from being misaligned. And so the idea of not being good enough, mm -hmm. it's quite natural when I think of that I'm my body because the body is never going to quite cooperate, if you've ever noticed. I'm noticing it more as I get older. It doesn't quite cooperate the way you, you hope it would because the conscious entity whose higher energy is incompatible with the lower energy of matter. So the solution, according to these ancient wisdom literatures, is to dig a little deeper and say, uh, why, is it, why is this psychological anomaly exist? It's because of misalignment. And really, the imposter syndrome is... Wow. <laughs> that, that was a very deep answer. So you, 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 you and I were chatting about this earlier. Uh, Every time I have encountered it for myself, it has literally been someone trusted me to do the job, so I'm just going to do it. But yeah, your explanation for it was fantastic. Yeah, and, and we had talked about it earlier, and I really had appreciated your answer because you had mentioned that you noticed it, and then you made a decision based on a higher principle, that this is my duty, mm -hmm. sort of the motivation. So I'm supposed to do this. I was asked to do it. I was charged to do it. So... I'll rise above the lower self by the higher self, that idea of doing what's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 